Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster Tech, and today we're looking at the Artesian Cutlery Centauri. Yes, indeed, this one is a front flipper. Very cool, right? Uh, before we get into the nitty gritties and all the goodies, I'd um, like to give a shout out to old Grateful Panic. He's got his own YouTube channel, reviews knives, uh, EDC stuff. Cool, cool. Pretty good content. But, anyways, old Grateful Panic. Cheers, brother. I don't have an IPA on me today, but I got me a, a nice tasty Heineken, all right? There we go. Ah, very, very delicious. And oh yeah, before I forget, uh, if you guys wanna help support the channel, um, you can purchase one of these bad boys, or both of them. I'll leave my email down below in the descriptions. Cool beans. All right, well, um, this knife here was passed down to me uh, through the uh, Black Widow knife pass around group. So thank you very much uh, Justin, he's the the guy who organized the group and uh, His YouTube knife dude. So go check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave his link down in the descriptions as well um, Let's get into the specs, right? Cool. Cool. All right overall length on this one here is 8.125 inches uh, blade length is 3.5 inches cutting edge 3.375 um, the blade width on this is uh, 1.125 inches. Blade thickness is 0 0.13 inches. Uh, blade material, Damascus steel. Um, blade style, this is considered a Warren Cliff blade style. Uh, the blade grind on this, we have a flat, flat grind. There we go, see so if you can see that. Yeah, buddy. Edge type on here is plain. Uh, the handle length is 4.625 inches. The handle width is one inch even. Uh, handle thickness is 0 0.43 inches. Um, the handle material is that carbon fiber. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Looks good, huh? The color, obviously black. The frame liner is titanium. We have a weight of 3.71 ounces. Yeah, that's over the uh, 3.0 lightweight um, ounce threshold there. But honestly, this is a bigger knife. This is a full-size knife. For it to weigh 3.71 ounces is really good right um, this is a right hand user and uh, pocket clip let's get this bad boy shut it is tip up so when you put this in your pocket that blade tip is in the up position there you go um, the opener on this as you can see it is front flipper and lock type it is that frame lock yes um, it is from China and best use is everyday carry yeah Cool, right? Let's do some um, size comparisons. Here's your Ontario Rat 2. So yeah, it is definitely a full-size knife. Um, a lot larger than your Ontario Rat 2. And uh, here's our Para 3. And uh, what's your, where's a little native? There you go. So yeah, not bad, right? If I can find my Sharpie, we can give you a better size comparison. So here's an everyday carry Sharpie. And everybody knows the size of a Sharpie, right? Yeah, indeed. Let's close this up and do a size comparison with it closed up. There you go. That's that. All right. Well, let's get into the pros and cons on this. And believe me, I had a hard time trying to find some cons. Um, one con I did find, it is right-hand user only. So for you lefties out there, eh, not a good thing, right? Maybe not for you. Um, also, one other con I did find, this is real small, but uh, around the uh, block bar here, I didn't notice it is, the corners are a little on the sharper, sharper end there, so uh, not really a big deal. I mean, it doesn't really bother me none. I just, I noticed it, and um, yeah, I'm still getting used to the front flipper, guys. But yeah, I noticed that, so um, that's that. That's, uh, that's all I could find for cons, really, on this knife. This is a great knife. Biggest pro, obviously, is the looks. Wow, beautiful knife, right? The Damascus is very, very pretty. Carbon fiber looks good. Um, back here looks real nice. And they kept this nice uh, knife very simple, right? Very simple knife, indeed. I like it all around. Looks good. Great knife. I like its full size. I got a good purchase on this, so that's another pro. We got the jimping on the top. Yes, indeedy. I can choke up a little bit. I mean, yeah. If you got large size hands, um, this knife would be perfect for you. So that's that. Uh, if you got small hands, I mean, I don't see a reason why you couldn't use this knife. I mean, 
front flippers you got to get used to i know i had to but uh <clears throat> i mean once you get used to it um uh, deploying the the blade is is quite nice nice and easy and actually fun um i can't get it every time not yet but i'm getting there i'm getting closer okay um another thing i liked on this is the pocket clip um yeah it's not a deep carry i mean it's gonna be sticking out of your pockets about that much sticking out so not a deep carry at all but uh it actually works real well it's not snagging on my uh, pocket whatsoever so very nice indeed now as far as this goes here i thought this would, was gonna bother me sticking out the way it does but it doesn't um so that's a pro i mean i honestly thought with this sticking out of the my pocket here is you know or inside my pocket i'm sorry was gonna bother me and it doesn't i don't feel it whatsoever so that's a cool thing right um, MSRP on this guy here is $266. Uh, I found it on Blade HQ. So yeah, it's pretty steep. Um, now, uh, I did find it the actual their price, Blade HQ price for $212. So yeah, so it's it's not a budget knife whatsoever. I mean, what do you expect? You got some good material on this blade. It's a large size knife. Um, you got titanium. You got Damascus steel, carbon fiber, and it's a front flipper with great action. Um, this is a great knife. Uh, Artesian Cutlery did a really good job on this one, for sure. So, for you guys um, are are looking for a larger size knife with a pretty blade and a, um, a gorgeous uh, handle with that front flipper and a frame lock, yeah, this knife's definitely for you. Um, if you're looking for a smaller knife, you know, with a with a basic uh, deployment, you know, maybe this won't be for you. But um, I'm telling you, this one's a uh, this one's a must-have. I like this knife a lot. It's really grown on me um, since I've had it. Okay, um, so that's my thoughts on this. And oh yeah, before 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 we let you go, it does have a lanyard post on the back there. So for you uh, lanyard junkies, yes, you can uh, put what you want back there. So that is that. That's my thoughts on this knife. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys like Damascus steel? Do you guys like carbon fiber? All right, guys. Well, if you like what you see and you'd like to see more, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And for you guys that have subscribed to my channel, thanks so much. It means a lot to me. And of course, smash that uh, like button. That'd be awesome. Okay, guys, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.